Hey, what's up, Internet? I'm Eric Casey, as you know, uh, from the Creator Gaming Circle on YouTube. Uh, yeah, how's it going? Uh, making, I'm making another vlog here because uh, I have a couple announcements that I want to make regarding to the channel. And I also have uh, two E3 predictions that I kind of want to share and want to hear what you guys think. But uh, let me just cut to the chase here uh, with, with uh, some of the announcements and everything. Uh, as I mentioned, E3 is literally tomorrow. Um, yeah, E3 is literally tomorrow. Bethesda's press conference is tomorrow and the whole nine yards. Uh, I just want to make an announcement that uh, basically... Uh, me and one of my other friends are going to be uh we're going to be we're going to be making some uh vlog not not in this kind of style but we're going to be making some reaction videos regarding to the press conference and the whole thing uh originally what i tried to do was i, I wanted to set up a stream where we watch the conference i don't think it's going to work out because uh it turns out that twitch doesn't really allow you to do that so that kind of sucks but we'll, we're, I'm gonna try, we're gonna try to give you the next best thing, which is basically, um, you know, immediate reactions where we're just gonna record. We're gonna watch the conferences, and then we're gonna record ourselves uh, reacting after the conference has ended. We're, we'll get the camera, we'll start recording, start talking about what we thought about the press conference and the things and some of the things that they'll talk about, and uh, hopefully. Uh, the press conference will be available so I can download that and cut and cut it together while we, you know, t talk about a reaction. So basically, a reaction video for all the press conferences. Bethesda, hopefully, Bethesda, uh, my friend is a little busy this weekend, but I know for a fact. So Bethesda, it may just be me. We'll see on that. Hopefully not. Hopefully my friend will be able to come on and talk about it. But if not, uh, he will be around for Microsoft. Sony, EA, Nintendo, uh, Ub Ubisoft, um, yeah, all those press conferences, it will be me and him, hopefully he'll be around for Bethesda, but we'll see on that. Uh, so, like I said, live, uh, not live reactions, but we'll do a reaction to those press conferences together where we talk about what we thought of the press conference and the whole thing. Uh, most likely we'll do a synopsis of the whole E3 and the whole thing as well. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So that's one announcement. Um, second announcement is regarding to Batman Arkham Knight because, as you know, shortly after E3 is over, Batman Arkham Knight is going to be shortly, uh, shortly coming out after E3. Um, in fact, it's, it's uh, the June 23rd, so that's about like two, three weeks from now. Two weeks. Yeah, it's it's actually. It's actually the week. It's the following week. It's not next week, but the following week. So, um, as you know, in my previous uh, uh, vlog video, whatever, uh, I announced that next week will be, you know, when the schedule takes over, where I start doing live streams on Fridays, and when uh, on, on live streams, that's still happening. We're still going to do a live stream. Uh, Andy might come on for that. I don't know. I have to talk to him about that. But, um, basically that's still going. I'm going to have a live stream on Friday. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do for that. We'll see. Uh, we'll see on that. But I just want to make, make, make it clear that's still happening as well. Um, uh, oh yeah. Another thing, again with Andy, uh, me and him are thinking of doing some, uh, Let's Plays on, on Wednesday together, uh, where we just shoot ourselves playing a game and upload it onto YouTube. Uh, so add that to the schedule. <laughs> so during the week will be eccentric gamer videos. Wednesdays will be let's plays, and then Fridays will be streams. We'll see how that schedule rolls and see how that goes. Um, so that's that. Um, as I mentioned, Batman Arkham Knight. I don't know why I got sidetracked there for a second, but mainly regarding to Batman Arkham Knight, um, I'm planning on doing a midnight. A midnight stream uh, I'm I have the game pre-ordered at my GameStop so uh, Monday at midnight or Tuesday at mid yeah Monday at midnight um, uh, I'm assuming I'll be able to have it at at midnight I'll double check on that leading up to the release but what I, I'm planning on doing a first circle or first impressions it, like I mentioned in the other video 
first circle first impressions uh, midnight release stream of Batman Arkham Knight on June 23rd uh, or Monday at midnight and the whole thing with Andy he's gonna come on for that um, yeah so yeah so Batman Arkham Knight on release night we're doing a live stream of that uh, on gaming circle uh, so yeah cool it's really hot <laughs> it's really hot in here <laughs> anyway um, so yeah those are basically all the announcements those are all the announcements uh, that I have um, that, that's pretty much the whole update uh, live reaction not live reactions but reactions to e3 let's play Wednesdays are, mo are I'm trying to make that happen Friday next week will be the first stream of whatever I'll figure it out when I cross that bridge when I get there and then next that uh, Monday at midnight will be a live stream of Batman Arkham Knight with my buddy Andy so cool stuff cool stuff cool stuff right it's happening things are happening <laughs> um, so having said that as I mentioned in the beginning of this video uh, I have some bold predictions with e3 I have two of them actually uh, I was thinking about doing this as a separate video but I figure I just throw this in the vlog because why the hell not um, and you know just to collaborate all this stuff because I, I wanted to do this in two different videos <laughs> whatever uh, so what I'm thinking is um, I have two bold predictions regarding to E3. I'm not going to make a bold prediction for the rest of them because I could just do that, but I feel like these two have some kind have a little more of a possibility of, a little bit more of a possibility of happening rather than just putting a bold prediction out there and hoping that it comes true. Like let's just say a new BioShock game unfortunately but I, I don't think that's gonna happen uh, I thought uh, XCOM 2 was gonna be Bioshock 4 so since they since 2k games announced that that was gonna be XCOM 2 instead of Bioshock 4 I don't think Bioshock 4 is happening but anyway so like I said I could make a bold prediction like that but I want them to be semi realistic and kind of you know logical behind it you know so uh, regarding to my first bold prediction, it's regarding to the Sony press conference. As you know, and I mentioned it in my, I mentioned in one of my previous eCenter Gamer videos, the the Uncharted Remastered video, by the way. Uh, I talked about how uh, Uncharted possibly could be the only really technically big Sony exclusive that's coming out this year. Uh, besides that, Sony doesn't really have a you know, big first party exclusive coming out in 2015, to be quite honest with you. That's, they don't really have that kind of uh, lineup this year. It's mostly just third party games and indies. Not very good. Um, but I think a lot of rumors are going around that The Last Guardian, you, you remember that game, that, that, that game, that PlayStation exclusive game that Sony revealed back in 2010 that has just kind of like disappeared over the last four you know five or six years or so well there's a lot of rumors that are going around that it's coming back it's going to be at this year's e3 um i personally think that it is going to be there and my bold prediction for e3 is that the last guardian will make its triumphant return to e3 sony's going to reveal it and not only are they going to reveal it but they're going to have it available and ready to play this holiday season to compete with Tomb Raider. I think The Last Guardian will be that missing PlayStation, that big, that missing big time PlayStation exclusive that Sony's been missing out uh, uh, this year in 2015. Uh, so that's that's my Sony press conference bold prediction. And my second, now this one is is up there. This one's a far fetched one, but I think it has a chance because. I've been thinking about it. I think it kind of makes sense, but basically, it's regarding to Bethesda's press conference. And as you know, Fallout 4 has been revealed. It exists. It's happening. We know it's happening. Uh, yeah, we 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 just saw the trailer and everything. It went crazy. Um, my bold prediction with Bethesda: it's Bethesda's first E3 conference ever. 
Um, I think they want to make a, an impression. I think they really want to make uh, something memorable happen at E3. Uh, especially with it being their first press conference, as I mentioned. So, my bold prediction for Bethesda's press conference at E3 is that, yeah, we'll see gameplay of Fallout 4, but they're going to announce that Fallout 4, at the, end of the com at the end of their conference, that Fallout 4 will be available, will be available to, pr to purchase digitally and start downloading and everything. You'll be able to play it right after Bethesda's press conference. I think digitally they'll have it available right there, so you can start download. They'll say, uh, it, it'll, it, if you pre-ordered it already, it's started downloading and the whole thing. I think Fallout 4 will be available to play uh, the day after Bethesda's press conference. I mean, like I said, I, th I think that because I truly honestly think that they want to leave an impression, and uh, that would be crazy if that happens. People would go crazy. I think that's one way of doing it. Uh, some other people have mentioned that uh, Fallout 4 may be a PlayStation 4 exclusive. I I could see that being the more realistic one, but I don't know. I mean, Fallout is a big is a big game, and I think it would make I think Bethesda would want want it to be third party, and so that's why I think they would announce it or uh, avail its availability to play instead of making it an exclusive to one console. I don't know. Like I said, this is just speculation. This is just me thinking out of my ass and just like, eh, that, I guess, maybe. And I'm just throwing it out there and see what you think. So, that's this video. That's everything. Uh, what do you think of my bold predictions? Leave comments below in the whole thing. Uh, I'm curious what you think. Do you see it happening? Do you think, do you have a bold prediction for E3 or bold predictions? for E3 and all the press conferences. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please like, favorite, and subscribe. Look at these corners again. And um, yeah, uh, the, the, that's pretty much everything right now. That That's gonna be the next couple weeks or so, you know, here at Gaming Circle. So please tune in and check it out. Uh, and uh, I will see you guys, well not see you guys, but video, video form like this, I will see you guys uh, during E3 or after the E3 press conferences and during the streams and all that stuff that's coming around. So I'm Eric Casey, creator of Gaming Circle, and uh, I will talk to you guys next time. Okay, bye.